everyone, today I'm starting a series on my makeup channel that I honestly and truly never thought would happen. I have made an entire video about why I don't declutter and why it's not for me. And I stand by what I said in that video and I think it's valid. But I did have something happen that has changed my opinion a little bit for me. And that's that I'm moving and I'm really excited about that. I live in Savannah, Georgia right now. I am moving 13 hours away to live in Ohio to um, do my PhD program, which I'm very excited about. But I realized I have a lot of makeup and I love that. And I'm not trying to be a minimalist. Let me go ahead and say that. I'm not trying to be a minimalist. I'm not trying to declutter half of my collection or a third of my collection or everything and have four palettes. I'm, that's not my goal. But I do know that I have a lot of makeup and I have a lot of makeup I don't love and that doesn't bring me joy and that's not my favorites. And so I've decided that I'm gonna get rid of those things. And I have decided that I'm gonna get rid of them and I'm not gonna move them across the country. Now, I'm not saying that I'm gonna do this video, like this series every year or I'm gonna always be decluttering. That's not my goal, but I'm saying that for right now, because I am moving, I think it's it's important for me to declutter things I don't love. And that's what I'm gonna do. The whole goal of this video is that I have things I don't love and I don't wanna move them across the country. So I'm gonna get rid of them. And I'm not just doing it with makeup, I'm doing it with my clothes and with a bunch of things because moving is a pain in the butt and the less we have to move, the better. And I did want to say, before y'all look at my declutter, I know I have a lot of makeup and I'm not apologizing for it. I've bought 99.9% .9 of it by myself. I've worked many jobs throughout my career as a student. I've been collecting for many years. But I also want to tell you, because I know that some people, and I'm not judging, they declutter and then they end up going shopping and they just, they keep buying a lot more. Currently I'm on a no buy. And I don't plan on buying anything until I go on a vacation this summer. I don't want to buy things in town. I'm only going to buy things if I'm out of town and I'm on a vacation and they have like a memory with them. And I no longer subscribe to any subscription service. So a lot of the th reasons why I have a bunch of makeup that I don't love is because of those reasons. And I'm not doing that. So I really am trying to be better about my makeup spending habits. So I'm not going to end up decluttering every three months because I keep going out and buying a ton more. So I did want to say that. Um... And yeah, I know that I said I wouldn't do this, but things change and I've decided I'm going to. So I really hope you enjoy this. Um, I hope that it's set up okay. I know that it's not the absolute best, but I'm doing what I can with what I have and that's all I can do. So I hope you enjoy this series and let's go ahead and get into the declutter. So as I said in the introduction, I am decluttering my entire makeup collection and I decided to go ahead and start with eyeshadow palettes. I have a ton of eyeshadow palettes. This is the front of the drawer, and then maybe you can see back there, it's stuffed full, and let's be honest, it's so full that it's overflowed into my other drawer. This is my eye, my single eyeshadows and things. So, these are going to be five pan eyeshadow palettes and Alrighty, above. guys, so we're going to go ahead and start this declutter. Again, we're going to start on this top shelf, or this top drawer, because this is not supposed to be eyeshadow palettes, it's just... My palette drawer is so overfilled that it's kind of flown into this one as well. So we're going to start with this beautiful Urban Decay Alice Through the Looking Glass palette. I love this. It takes up a lot of room. It's really chunky, but it's a great assortment of colors. I just think it's really unique. I think it's got a lot of neutrals in here and a lot of pops of color. If you are new to my channel, I wear a lot of colorful makeup. I'm a student, and so I can get away with it. And yeah, I really like this. I am not going to declutter it. I have... Hit pan in one shade because of project panning. And yeah, this is staying in my collection. Next, we have the Too Faced Joy to the Girls palette. This was my first high-end eyeshadow palette. And I got it on Hot Look. And I honestly, it's one of those that I got just because it was on sale. And it just doesn't inspire me. This Joy shade I always want to use, but it never works out on the eyeshadow. I mean, like, on the lids. And the rest of them, they're just not that unique. Like, these two are very chunky. Um, that's Twinkle and Cheers. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna end up swatching a bunch, y'all. They're very chunky, and I do kind of like the way they look, but again, just on the lids, it never turns out right. So this, I'm also I'm gonna go ahead and declutter. One down, guys. This is the Kat Von D Mi Vita Loca palette. I don't love this packaging. I mean, it's gorgeous, yes, but it's not the most functional, but it's a beautiful palette. I have, again, Hit Pan in the shade Skulls, 
And this has almost anything you need. This synth shade, this bright blue, is one of my favorites. I just really like it. I can't ever see myself getting rid of that guy. Then we have the Urban Decay Full Spectrum Palette. This palette didn't get a lot of love here on YouTube, and I don't really know why. I love it. I don't know if I just got like a really good one, but I think that's the stupidest excuse, honestly, when people are like, ooh, maybe I got a bad one. I don't think, th I don't know. I really like it. My mirror is shattered, which is unfortunate, but this palette is one of my favorites. Again, I'm not gonna get rid of it. I know that means I have two rainbow eyeshadow palettes in my collection, and I'm okay with that. Again, I'm not trying to be a minimalist. I'm just trying to get rid of things I don't like. This is the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette. This is super duper neutral. And again, this is one of those things I only bought because it was on sale. It went on sale as most Urban Decay things do and I bought it. And I really like it. And I know that's weird because a lot of these shades, especially like these four, look so similar, but they have a little bit of a different undertone. I really like this pink and I like it. I'm keeping it. Next we have this guy nobody talks about this this is the urban decay urban spectrum palette and again i never hear anyone talk about it but whenever i wear this i get so many compliments and people are always like "Ooh, what is that what's that this omen shade is this gorgeous like blue to purple duochrome which is super trendy right now urban decay did it a couple of years ago i really like it i have nothing bad to say about it um i'm keeping it except okay that's not true this packaging again it's not the best for travel and the last thing, palette that I have in this drawer, is that correct? Yeah, the rest of these we're gonna do a different time. And then we're going into this palette drawer, is this guy. And I feel horrible because I actually got this as a Christmas present this year. And it's the Ulta Beauty On The Go set. And so we've got bronzers, highlighters, uh, blushes, a bunch of eyeshadows, cream eyeshadows, brow products, concealers, eyeliners, glitters. I'm never gonna use this. And I feel terrible saying that because I did get it as a present and I and I I just feel really bad because I want to love it because it was a present. It was from John's family and it meant so much to me that they would think to get me something for Christmas. They know I love makeup. Um, and so it really meant a lot to me, honestly. It, but I don't love it. And it's so huge and cumbersome that I never pick it out of my collection. I, I did have in my weekly product pan, I had this matte mauve shade and it worked well. And you know, it's got a nice assortment of colors. It's just, I'm just not gonna use it. I'm just not, I know I'm not. And it takes up so much room and the stupid plastic thing never fits right. So I'm getting rid of that. I'm, I'm gonna have to leave it open right now. All right, now for the rest of my eyeshadow palettes. Let's just start. This is the Kat Von D Interstellar palette. And I bought this because the Monarch, or no, the Christmas palette was her like purpley blue palette and I didn't get that palette and I regretted it. And it went, um, what do you call it? Like it was limited edition and it went away. <sighs> but I just don't, I don't know how I feel about this palette. I love silver, I love cool tone. I have like a very pink undertone skin, let's see. I mean, those are really pretty. Honestly, they're very pretty. I just don't, I don't ever grab for it. What is this shade? Is that a cool shade at least? I mean, that's kind of cool. There, it's nothing wrong with the quality of this palette. I don't know, I feel like if I'm debating, I'm gonna keep it because I don't wanna regret decluttering something. Even though when I watch other people's declutters, I'm like, if you're debating, just get rid of it. You obviously don't like it that much. But I'm gonna keep it. Sorry, I told y'all I'm not trying to be a minimalist. I'm gonna need my, my little washcloth. It's got a little fish on it. If you don't know, because I haven't said it this video and I say it every video, I'm a marine biologist. So yeah. Then we have the Lorac Pro and Pro 2. I have done so many videos about this palette. I have hit pan in the shade white and this uh, shade Coco broke when I first got it, but I do have a dip in the shade Snow. I hate these palettes. I never get a good look out of them. I just don't feel like this is a very good formula. I know a lot of people love them, um, but I don't. I honestly don't. They don't bring me joy, and I don't want them getting rid of them. Those are going in the discard pile. I have three of these like chocolate bar-esque palettes, these little met metal tins from Too Faced. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons bon palette. Bon -bons palette. It's a newer addition for me. I know it's not a newer palette, but it's one that I haven't had for very long. I love these pinks. This Cafe Olay shade 
is one that people don't talk about. I guess because a lot of people don't really like silvers. But it's like a pinky silver. Can you even see that? I know it's kind of dark, but it, if it wasn't so dark, it was like really glary. So hopefully it's not too bad. I really love this palette um, and I'm keeping it. Then we have the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. Now this one I, I didn't really care about and then I decided, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and get it and then it was gone. And so then I got it in the second release. Um, I am from Georgia. They have a shade in here called Georgia. They have a lot of very like southern P Georgia peach things, which I like. It is peach scented. Um, I don't know how I feel about this palette, if we're being honest. I've used it a couple of times. I haven't used it near enough. And the couple of times I have liked it, but it's just, it doesn't call to me a ton, but I am going to go ahead and keep it just because, like I said, unless I know I don't like it, I don't want to get rid of it. Not in this declutter. You know, maybe like a couple of years from now, my YouTube channel will have skyrocketed and I'm getting new palettes every time, but that's not where I am right now. Um, then I have the Too Faced Clover palette. And here this is. I've done a full review of this. I've done a full review of most of these palettes, so I'm going to link my product review playlist down below. I love this. It's super great. Um, it does fade a little bit. And I was having a hard time for a while trying to think of looks with it, but I think it's so much fun. And I'm definitely going to keep this guy. And then I got this little Cynthia Rowley Quint. And I got it because I had Birchbox points and I wanted to spend them. That's honestly the truth. It's got a purple, a pink, a gray, a black, and a white. They swatch fine, but they're all matte. I don't do very matte looks all, excuse me. I don't do all matte looks very often. And I just don't love it. So I'm getting rid of that. This is the Kat Von D Pastel Goth Palette. It's very beautiful and colorful. It's a little hard to blend, I will be honest. And again, I very rarely do all matte looks, but I just think it's really fun to like bring into a look. I, I've debated with this guy, but I do think I'm gonna keep it for now. This is my little ColourPop quint. This is the old packaging that used to come in. I only have five shades. I would really like to get five more. This shade, Tinky, Tiki isn't very good if we're being honest. Um, I mean, that swatch is gorgeous. Maybe I just haven't like used it the right way. Um, then I have Blowfish, Poodle, Checkmate, and Tiny Tangerines. So they are mainly matte, except for Blowfish as a satin. And I do want to fill this up. I don't think I'm gonna necessarily get like a ton of ColourPop singles, but I would like to at least have like all, like instead of having all of this wasted space, fill this up. So I'm gonna keep this. This is um, another one of like, I got this when I first started my collection. And um, here it is. It is a Stila palette. Um, it is the Artful Eye Collector's Edition number four. And it's all shimmers and they're really nice, honestly. They're really, really pretty. They are a little bit rough in the pan, but they're very pigmented. I just have a bunch of shades like this in palettes, so I know I'm not gonna grab for this. So I'm gonna get rid of it. This is the MAC Nutcracker Sweet Cool Eye Compact. And I don't love this palette. And this is my first MAC palette ever, and so I really wanted to love it. I love this shade. I don't know what it's called. What is it called? Absurdly Pretty, maybe? It's, it's, it's really pretty, and it's pretty unique. It does take building up on the eye. You can see it's just not the most pigmented. And some of these shimmers are really nice. I feel like I want to keep this. And maybe that's stupid because I don't know how much I'll use it. But I do want to keep it for right now. This is the Lorac California Dreamin' palette. I slaughtered this in a review. Um, I just don't like it. It doesn't blend well. And the color selection is kind of weird. This navy and this green look really pretty in pan. But on my eyes, they just look black. And this kitty cat shade is amazing. And I have used it all over the lid. And you really can't fault it. But I don't want to save this whole palette for just one shade. So I'm getting rid of it. And then I have this BH Cosmetics Enhancing Eyes palette. And I got the gorgeous green eyes even though I have brown eyes, as you can see. But I liked the shades in here best. I never ever reach for this palette, but when you swatch these purples, 
these pans are super tiny, which is frustrating. Here. Those purples are super pretty. They really are. Um, so I do want to use it. I don't like how small these pans are. This is, oh my gosh, these little doohickeys will not stay. Um, but they've got some cool shades in here. So I don't think I've really given it enough chance. So I'm going to keep it. This is the Buxom Pastel Persuasion Palette. And I was so excited to get this. I've heard so many good things about the Buxom palettes. I felt like this was really, really unique for my collection. You can see I have a lot of colorful shadows. And I felt like this is unique. But it doesn't give me a good look. I cannot get this to work. This one shade, Room Service, is really pretty. It's very shimmery green. If you can, yeah, it's super high shine. But I've got a couple of other shades like that. And I just... I don't love it. I love the packaging. I love the idea of it, but I don't love this palette. So I'm going to get rid of it. This is the Maybelline The Brights. <laughs> Y'all, these Maybelline palettes are not very good, honestly. Um, if you don't wear color, I think this is great for you. If you're like, I'm going to wear this shade maybe once a year, then this is awesome. But again, I wear a lot of color, so this isn't good for me because it's just, it takes a lot of building up. You can get nice looks with it. Don't get me wrong. But it's hard to work with, and I don't think I would grab for that. Then I've got the Mi Vita Loca and the Full Spectrum, so I'm going to get rid of it. This is a very new, oh, well, it's upside down. This is a new uh, palette for me as well. This is the Too Faced Cat Eyes palette. And here it is. I, I wanted this palette for a really, really long time. This is the shade Pussycat, and this is the shade Kitty Glitter. And that's why I wanted it. Oh, oops, I'm so sorry. You fell. You fell. Are you okay? Oops, I'm sorry. Uh, so there's Pussycat. There's Kitty Glitter. There we go. And as you can probably tell, they're not the most impactful. And I've got a bunch of silvers and I've got a bunch of purples. And the rest of this palette just doesn't excite me. It just doesn't. So even though I wanted it for a really long time, I'm going to get rid of it. And then we have the Too Faced Sugar Pop palette. I love this palette. This blue raspberry shade would make me keep this entire palette. I don't love um, Rock Candy or Peach Fizz. They're mattes with a bunch of glitter. They're kind of weird to work with. But these other seven I really enjoy. They're very pigmented, very pretty. Keeping this. This is a little Pacifica Quint I got in a Ipsy. As I've already said, I've gotten rid of all of my subscription services um, just because you get stuff like this. Now, this is nice quality. Honestly, let me give you some swatches. Did I say Pixie? I don't remember. This is Pacifica. These are really pretty. You can see right there. They have a lot of shine. But I'm never going to reach for this. I have these, you know, shadows tenfold, so... I don't really know. This is a Revlon Little Quint that I had when I, I got when I first started my makeup channel. And I loved it. And I talked about it all the time. And I do think it's really nice. I think in one of my first giveaway, I even gave one of these away. It's pretty. And, you know, I like it. This blue shade reminds me a lot of that, like, that light blue that people are kind of dying over from, like, the two... Natasha Denona palettes. It's a little, it's a lot powderier. Obviously, it's not as nice as Natasha Denona. But I know I won't use it because I haven't been. And again, I just have a lot of palettes. And this just isn't as good as my other ones, honestly. So I'm not going to keep it. All right. This is the Urban Decay Vice 4 palette. And this shade Flame that I have a lot of pan in is one of my favorite shades I own. I love it. Um... I really like this 1985 shade. I think this is like a really cool palette. It's got a lot of color. It is a little bit mismatched. It's hard to get a full look just using this palette, but I personally have no issue reaching into other palettes um, when I'm creating my looks, and yeah, I'm keeping it. This is the Too Faced Matte Eye Palette. And it's one of my first palettes. Again, I do have a really big dip in the shade Velveteen Bunny. I like these three shades as a crease shade, but they don't blend well. They just don't. I think they're unique. I love the shade Pebbles. It's like a really cool gray with a lot of blue in it. 
and it's really pigmented but again they don't blend well and they're hard to use so I don't reach for this palette that much so I think I'm gonna get rid of it okay I'm gonna pull some of these can you all even see we've still got a lot to go all right this is the H&M nine pan palette I got this because I really like their singles and I like this. I think it's got a good variety. It's mainly dark shades, but it does have a nice variety of colors. They're really high quality. Um, it was like $10, and I'm going to keep it. Oh, this is the Real Hard palette. And number two, do your squats. I think the quality of this is crap. I honestly do. I know people were like, oh, it's nice. I don't think so. I don't like it. It's boring. I got it in a boxy charm, and I'm not keeping it. This is the Lorac Mega Pro 2. I bought this two years ago because everybody needed it. Everybody should have the Lorac Mega Pro because they're the best palettes in the world. I don't like it. I think it's I think it's got a lot of color in here and I feel like every time I'm like, mm, I'm gonna get something great and I never do. I never love the look I get when I use this palette, honestly. And I don't feel like I need it. I don't feel like it, I just don't feel like I need it and I'm gonna get rid of it. I do have pan in the shade Gold Leaf um, so I don't know, but there we go. Similarly, I bought the Too Faced I Want Candy palette. Everybody needed this palette. It was the best neutral palette ever. Um, all the shades are super high quality. I don't like it. I've used these two pink shades and they're just so chunky. I do really like this butterscotch shade. This like matte orange, really pretty. And I... This sugared plum, I always want to like, too, because it's, like, really, I mean, it swatches so nice. But on the eyes, it doesn't do well. It just doesn't, in my opinion. Um, there's a couple of shades I do like in here, but I don't think I miss this palette. So, I'm going to get rid of it, even though it's pretty much brand new. Tango's having a bad dream. She just cried a little bit. She's right. Right here, you can't see her, but she's there. This is the Stila 10 Pan Shadow. Oh, is it Hippo? Hippo, you're having a bad dream? I hate when my dogs have bad dreams. I feel like the most like helpless parent. And I got this on Hope Look. And it's just 10, you know, big eyeshadow eyeshadows from Stila. These are each like 2 grams a piece. Is that right? Does it say? Yeah, 2.6 grams a piece. They're huge. These three shadows make me want to keep this whole thing. Um, These three right here they're beautiful that orange mm-hmm very similar to flame actually I really like it I think it's a great palette I think you can get a lot of looks out of it again it's not necessarily a standalone palette but I'm keeping it this is the makeup forever palette from Christmas 2015 These pat shadows get this weird, like, gummy texture. But I really like these shades. I do. I think they're pretty. I like it when I use it. Um, they do take a little more building up than I would like. But I think I'm going to keep it. This is the BH Cosmetics Galaxy Chic Palette. Again, if you follow my channel, you know I don't like it. Another palette that gets a lot of hype here on YouTube, and I don't understand why. I truly don't. I don't think it's very good. I think all four of these shades look the same. These two shades, there's a lot of redundancy here. This orange is nice and this red, they're nice, but they take a lot of building. And mm -mm, I'm getting rid of it. And then I have the Urban Decay Ammo Palette. This is an old palette from Urban Decay. Whoops. And it's got 10 shimmery shades, but I like them. This shattered shade has a cool like yellow duochrome. Um, I think they're nice, and I'm going to keep it. I have this Ulta Beauty eyeshadow palette. Hmm. I don't think I've ever used this. It's got a highlighter and a blush in it, obviously. You can see that. Oh, that's not so great, is it? I know I'm just, like, randomly haphazard. Like, not randomly. You can't say random in science unless you have a randomized table. Uh, haphazardly swatching but no not great i'm gonna get rid of that the bh cosmetics take me to brazil palette another rainbow palette 
this palette is not very good quality, if we're being honest. It's just not. And it takes a lot of building. This is another palette that I think if you don't use rainbow shades very much, you'd love it. But whenever I do a look with it, I just don't love it. I don't. And I want to keep it because it's got so many really pretty shades. But I do have the Mi Vita Loca. Oh my gosh, this neon orange though? Well, there you go. Like, this is definitely one of those palettes that in pan looks so nice. Look how chalky that is. That's never going to do anything on your eyes. I'm going to get rid of it. I don't want to, but I'm going to. This is the Urban Decay Electric palette. This palette is really, really pretty. These two shades, this uh, Revolt is like a silver topper. Don't like it. I don't like Chaos either. But the other eight are gorgeous. They're unique. They are super high impact. I'm keeping it. All right. This is the Beauty Treats palette. And I got this from a subscriber and I was really excited about it. And I've done a review on it. And I think it's good. I don't think it's the best. But this blue shade is the best light blue that I own. Look at that. Super powder. I mean, super pigmented. Um, it's a very cool palette because it's got a lot of neutrals and a lot of color. And I feel like you can get a lot of looks with it. And I'm going to keep it. This is the Too Faced Smoky Eye palette. And it has my very favorite silver in it. The shade In a Flash. I love it. The other shades, I think, are okay. You can get a good look. Obviously, it's going to be a very dark, smoky look. It's called the Smoky Eye Palette. Makes sense. But I'm keeping it because I love that silver, and I love silver eyeshadow. And I know it's kind of dumb to keep a whole palette for one shade, but I don't care. This is the Smashbox Cosmetics Masterclass Volume 3 Palette. And... I, this is like their contour shade, their like trio that people buy a lot. Here are the blushes. We've got 16 colorful shades, 16 neutral shades. I really like this palette. I think it's good quality. There are a couple of misses in here, I'm not going to lie. But overall, I think it's good quality. And when I use it, I like it. Similarly, I have the Masterclass Volume 4 palette. This again has 16 shades. There's not as much neutral, which I'm okay with. I love these cheap products. I reach for them a lot. The This shade C is disappointing in a swatch, which sucks because it's one that I always want to go for. But whenever I pull in this palette, I do enjoy it. I enjoy the look I get, so I'm going to keep it. Yo, we've got lots left. Oh, Wet n Wild Petal Pusher Palette. This is from, they just redid them and now they're all tin pan. I got this when I first started my channel and I never liked it. I never thought it was good quality. I don't understand the hype with this. Maybe it's the comfort zone's a lot better, but this palette's not very good. I'm not keeping it. This is another thing. You can tell I haven't had a lot of good luck with BH Cosmetics. This is the That's Heart palette, and I tried. I tried to love it, and this is when I first started my channel, and I was like, you know, it doesn't matter how much you spend on makeup. And I try to, I really do like drugstore makeup and I know I mean I'm keeping some drugstore things and I know I don't talk about drugstore a lot on my channel but this is not good this is terrible I'm not mm -mm, I'm getting rid of it this is the Tarte Rainforest After Dark palette again this was one of my first higher end palettes I had a summer job I was like a hospice worker for a dog and I got this palette now I have dropped it and you can see that some of these shades have broken a bit like that you know pieces have broken off these cheek products are amazing they're absolutely amazing. This gold is really pretty. Um, so yes, I'm keeping that. This is something I got from this Christmas. This is the Tarte Magic Star Collector's Edition. And it's got 25 eyeshadows, two blushes, a bronzer, and a highlight. I feel like this palette does take some work, but it's really cool. It's got a lot of color for Tarte. And I like it. Um, it's not my favorite palette, I will say that. But I do like it, and I want to keep it. This is one of my favorites. This is the Lorac Pirates of the Caribbean. Again, if something's Disney, it's going to be really hard for me to ever get rid of it, unless I use it up. And, yeah, I think that this palette is gorgeous. I think it's a very unique assortment of shades. I love it, and I'm keeping it. This is the Urban Decay Moon Dust palette. I did a look with this not that long ago. And I didn't love it. 
but that's the only time I've used it, which is terrible. But I do love the idea of these glitter toppers. I love glitter. I wear glitter a lot. I think I want to keep it. I do. There's one more of these. Here we are. This is a little trio that I got this Christmas as well from Too Faced. And I haven't played with it as much as I should. When I swatch it, I do enjoy it. This is the I Believe in Pink palette. And I think I definitely want to keep this one. Super fun night. Again, it looks kind of boring, but when I swatch it, I really like it. And I just need to play with it some more. So I'm going to keep that. And I think the same with Natural Beauty. Yeah, this five golden ring shade is gorgeous. So again, I'm going to keep it. This is the Snow White and the Seven Dwarf Specimen palette. I love the outlook. I love the idea of it. I don't love, I love that they have this little piece here, but it does make it hard to use. And here it is. It's what? Five. Yeah, 20 matte shades. Gorgeous. Really blendable. Really love them. I'm keeping that. This is the Torina Tarantino Quint, the Sparklicity Gold Palette. And I got this because it was on Hot Look. They're all glittery. I like the Torina Tarantino singles a lot, but this palette, it's just, it's not for me. It's too neutral. I don't ever reach for it because it doesn't excite me. I'm not keeping it. All right, guys, we're getting to the very end. I'm just reaching in and grabbing. All right. This is the Bomb Cosmetics Rockstar palette. Um, I got this on whole look as well. I love this palette. We got the cheek products, cream, cheek, or lips, uh, Mary Luminizer, which it says it's not, but it is, Frat Boy Blush, 12 shadows that are super pigmented. This silver is, again, really pretty. I love all of them. I love the looks I get with this. I'm keeping it. This is the Minis World in Color palette from Sephora. This is when they did a Minnie Mouse collection. Some of these shades are not very good and they take a lot of work. They do, I will be honest. But it's so pretty and I love to look at it and I love that it's Minnie Mouse and I'm keeping it. This is the Sephora Pantone Universe Modern Watercolors palette. This got no hype on YouTube. No one talked about it at all. This was like, I think the last time I did a big collection with Pantone Universe. Um, this was the year that they had two colors for some odd reason. The like, what were, what were the Rose Quartz and Serenity. I don't know how you can call a shade Serenity, but it was like this shade, or no, it was this shade and this shade were like the colors of the year. This palette's awesome. It's all pastels. I know pastel palettes have come out recently. This is a great pastel palette. I love it. Um, it takes a little bit of work, I'm not going to lie, but I love it. And it's unique to my collection, and I'm keeping it. This is the Makeup Forever 9 Pan Artist Palette. Again, they have these like gummy consistencies. I have, if you can tell, had to scrape that shade just to get it to work again. But that pink is beautiful. I love this shade. I do like it, and I do think I'm going to keep it. And the last palette, is that in my line? Yes. The last palette I own is the Lime Crime Venus Palette. And this one has gotten some flack here because of Lime Crime. This was the first, to my knowledge, the first like pinky red palette that came out on the market. Um, I don't own the Modern Renaissance palette, as you can tell, and it's probably because I own this. And I do really love this. I think this is an awesome palette, and I know that people don't like Lime Crime, and I understand that, but I'm keeping it. So I'm going to count everything, put everything back, and then we'll do like a, an overall like goodbye thing, okay? Okay, so here's the final product of everything in the drawer. I am keeping, including the six palettes that I'm currently panning, 41 palettes, which is still a lot. I definitely, I wish that you could see everything a little bit better in the drawer, but this is the best way I found so I can still open and close the drawer of that one nicely for a little bit. And here's everything. There's a Kanga. She's very excited. Here is everything I'm getting rid of. That is a total of 24 palettes, which does mean I got rid of about a third of my collection. Eyeshadow palettes are by far my favorite makeup product, so I'm pretty proud of that. Again, these are just things I know I won't use. I'm not a minimalist. I'm not pretending to be, but I'm excited about this. If you want to get anything, check my Poshmark, um, which is linked down below. And yeah, I'll see y'all real soon. Bye!